Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Jolene Marks, with today's top story. And uh, while we wait for the second round of elections on the 17th of September, there is still work to be done and still portfolios to be given with the current one. And uh, it has been reported today that Prime Minister Netanyahu is considering Likud Chavek Knesset Amir Ohana for the role as Justice Minister in the interim until uh, the next set of elections. At the moment, the Prime Minister, having fired Justice Minister Ayelet Shaked, is the holder of the portfolio of Justice Minister along with Defence, Education and the Health Ministries. And because he is facing possible corruption indictment charges, the Prime Minister cannot hold more than one portfolio, that of Prime Minister. So uh, let's see if he fulfills uh, this particular portfolio and who he taps for the others. And uh, staying with the sad news yesterday, following the passing of Israel's First Lady, Nahama Rivlin, a day before what would have been her 74th birthday, uh, her body has laid in state at the Jerusalem Theatre and tributes continue to pour in from organizations, world leaders, dignitaries and ordinary Israelis and uh, lovers of Israel from around the world. Everybody has remarked on her incredible uh, and modest nature, her quiet but graceful and strong demeanor, and her support of the environment, the art, and particularly the uh, advancement of women. U.S. President Trump adding his voice to the amount of uh, condolence letters pouring in, saying that uh, Mechama Rivlin led or represented the country with grace and stature, and one of the most iconic recent pictures we have of our uh, late First Lady is that of her holding her hand or holding the hand of the First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump, on uh, their official visit to the State of Israel. A very, very moving moment because uh, the late Nechama Rivlin battled uh, to walk without the aid of her oxygen tank. And it uh, just goes to show that uh, even in the highest possible office, this was still a lady whose tremendous grace and modesty governed the way that she conducted herself. Condolences coming in from Prime Minister Netanyahu as well and his wife Sarah Netanyahu on behalf of the people of Israel and uh, the Prime Minister and his wife themselves. Uh, Nechama Rivlin will lie in state until her funeral on Mount Herzl this evening. And... Uh, in a very exciting news in the United Kingdom, arch anti semite and former Member of Parliament, George Galloway has been summarily silenced, well at least by talk radio, where he had a talk show. And this follows an anti-Semitic tweet that he tweeted out uh, following the victory of Liverpool Football Club over the traditionally Jewish Tottenham Hotspurs, where he said, no Israel flags on the cup. And uh, no sooner had he tweeted that, but he was excoriated by uh, uh, Israel advocates, Jews, and anybody who is sensible and stands against racism and anti-Semitism, including uh, British industrialist Lord Sugar, as well as Tottenham Hotspur, who said they do not tolerate that kind of racism and anti-Semitism. But uh, kudos, Kola Kavod goes to talk radio, who no sooner than the tweet had gone out, actually fired him, saying that talk radio stands for uh, balanced and unbiased coverage, and they do not tolerate anti-Semitism. Well, uh, Galloway has responded by blocking a number of Israel advocates on um, on Twitter, and it's, it would appear that if he can't stand the heat, so he really shouldn't be in the kitchen. And hopefully this sends out a message to bigots everywhere that you will be silenced. 
Now, you can read more about uh, what is happening in the Jewish world and in Israel on our website at www.layoftheland.online. That's www.layoftheland.online. If you want to catch us on social media, you can like and follow us on Facebook. And you can subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below to get your daily edition of the Israel Brief. I'm Raleen Marks. It's sweltering here in Israel, and this is the Israel Brief.